Hello again, 11th grade. Uh, today we get to keep talking about the New Deal. But before we do that, I have a couple announcements to make. Both of them are bad news. The first one is I still have a whole lot of people who are not turning in their online assignments quite yet. I know that we've only been doing this for two days, but please do not forget while I'm gone, that's your main mode of communication with me, and that's where all your grades are coming from. So make sure you're turning in those online assignments. I'm going to be putting a bunch of grades in Skyward tomorrow. If you have missing assignments, that's on you. Let me know if I can help you figure it out. So, that's announcement one. Turn in your online work. Announcement number two. My doctors have told me that I am not allowed to return to work until after spring break. Um, and that sucks. And I'm sorry. Um, I am okay. I am not sick. I appreciate all the get well messages, but I am well. Um, but according to the CDC and the Department of Health, I should not be in public or in crowds or basically in schools at all. Um, because of my autoimmune disorder. So I'm trapped here with my cat as my sole source of company during the day. Uh, and we will keep having classes that basically look like this. 10 minute or so video for me, some kind of in-class assignment to do and turn in. Pretty straightforward. All that said and done, let's get to it. So, New Deal. Yesterday, y'all listened to one of the fireside chats. You got an overall introduction on what FDR said um, they were going to do. Today, we get to look at some of the specifics on what they actually did. Here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to give you guys just 15 seconds at your tables, I want you to try to name all of the departments of the executive branch. I will give you one. As an example, the Department of Defense is one. See if you can name all the other departments of the executive branch. I'll give you 15 seconds. All right, there's our time. Let's have a look, shall we? There are 15. There are technically 15 departments in the executive branch, but there are way, way, way more uh, sub-departments, agencies, bureaus. Let's have a closer look at that. So this is a list of all the executive departments. We go from agriculture, commerce, defense, through Homeland Security, Labor, all the way down to Veterans Affairs. If we go back in time to the 1790s, only two of these departments existed. George Washington only had two departments, and those were the Treasury and the Department of State. So he had two people in his cabinet, Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of Treasury, Alexander Hamilton. He only had two people in his department. Now we have 15 people. But wait, there's more. These are only the departments. We also have literally hundreds of sub-agencies and bureaus in the executive branch. I'm just going to scroll through these so you can get an idea how many there are. It's so many. It is a semi-ridiculous number of things. And we're still going. And we're still going. So, hundreds of departments, much less tens of thousands of people, actually work for the executive branch. But as we just saw, that did not used to be the case. There used to be very few people in the executive branch. Part of the New Deal is um, 
taking us from that very small executive branch to the very big executive branch. So, as this says, a lot of these departments and bureaus were part of the New Deal. This is sometimes called the alphabet soup. And that's because there were so many new agencies and bureaus that had very long names that got shortened to just a couple letters um, that people said it was like trying to wade through alphabet soup. We have the uh, CCC, the Civilians Conservation Corps. We have the TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority. And easily a dozen or more others. We're going to look at, oh, I think 11 today, but there's more um, of these different alphabet organizations that are all part of uh, the federal government there to try to ease the burden of the Great Depression. But before we look at specifics, quick check for understanding. I'm gonna ask two questions. After each question, I want you to pause this video and have a quick discussion with your table groups, with your entire class, um, kind of whatever the sub decides uh, makes sense right now. We will have short discussion on this question, then unpause the video, do the next one, pause the video, discuss, unpause. Good. So. Question one, why would FDR have thought it necessary to expand the government so much? Why did this formation of this alphabet soup, why did all these new organizations seem necessary? Take a second, think about that. Pause our video, discuss for a few minutes. All right, welcome back. We have one more question before we move on to our assignment. Our one more question is, why would this make some people nervous? FDR expanded the federal government a lot, added a lot more different agencies and organizations, but he had a lot of pushback from members of Congress, from state governors. What is it that made people so nervous? One more time, discuss, pause the video, I'll see you after your discussion. Hello again. All right. Here is what you're doing for the rest of the day. We're going to try to decode the alphabet soup. Learn about what are some of these different organizations. There is a graphic organizer on PowerSchool with some of those main organizations. It follows along with what is in the book, so it should be pretty straightforward and easy. It's gonna be your job to fill in what these alphabet organizations did. The page numbers are already there. I'm gonna show you how to find all this before I let you go. So here is my Power School page. If we go down to weekly schedule, it now says alphabet soup, download here. If you click there, obviously you can download that graphic organizer. To turn it in, we're gonna go to activities, assignments. It's gonna be the top one, decoding alphabet soup. You can also download a copy here. And that graphic organizer is gonna end up looking like this. Decoding the alphabet soup. We have the organization. It's your job to read about it in these pages in the book. Write down what did it do? What was its job? What effect did it have? And then the very last part of this, make sure you don't forget, is once you have done all of this, explain the problems between the executive and the judicial branches that happened because of the New Deal and all of these new um, organizations. So, that was the alphabet soup in 10 minutes or less. Wash your hands, take care of each other, follow the Redmond way, stay awesome, and I will see you tomorrow.